Hello, Aquarius. You are watching Thomas' Tarot page with myself, Thomas Janak. This is your March 2022 general reading. <coughs> so, what we will do in this reading, we will look at the overall energy as it presents itself to you or, you, or to your sign in the month of March 2022. Uh, and then we will go into your emotional core, see what's coming in, if there's love coming in or if there's healing that needs to happen, before we finally then look at opportunities as they present themselves to you in the month of March 2022. And opportunities, for the most part, will be about stuff that um, sustains you financially. Before we do any of this, let's start with the weird stuff. <coughs> Excuse me. Asthma. I was shopping. Uh, I went shopping and then thought, when I come home, I have to recall Aquarius. And ever since I made that decision, some guide here started singing um, Duran Duran to me. No, no, notorious. So, there is a chance that my brain, because my brain is weird, went from Aquarius to Notorious, even though it makes no sense, because I don't walk around thinking, uh, uh, Aquarius, right? Makes no sense. So I believe that this is um, meant for someone here, the whole Duran Duran thing, Notorious. So I just thought, because it has happened <clears throat> when I thought about recording, uh, or ever since I've been thinking about uh, recording the Aquarius video, um, that I'm going to share it with you, just in case it might resonate. Speaking of resonating, this is a general reading. It may not resonate with all of you, right? <coughs> but I hope it does. Please like, subscribe and share. And if you like my work, you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. That's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium Thomas. Aquarius, with no further ado, let's have a look at your overall energy for the month of March 2022. Let's see what we got. Right, before we start with the with the overall energy, just remember, <clears throat> because it is part of your overall energy here, you have just come out of your sign, right? So on the 20th, we move from Aquarius to Pisces. And so having been in, in your own strength for four weeks before now going into a very emotional sign, <clears throat> Might make you feel might make you feel a little less um, powerful, and please don't think that it is quite normal. You go out from your own sign into the next sign, therefore you have a lack of your sign. If that's that's, good, that's what it's called, lack of Aquarius, <coughs> and therefore the strength that your sign gives you and your governing planet gives you is waning. So should you feel a little lost? That's just because you have just come out of your sign. You will get used to it because each and every sign is experiencing this right after they come out of their sign, right? So I'm a Piscean, so this will happen to me at some stage in April then. Okie dokie. So what you have is the heavens and the color mat. Quite an interesting uh, combination for the overall energy because what the guides are saying to you is any conversations you should have about how you're feeling and where you're going should be with your guides right so the heavens obviously denotes that your ancestors are around you right and it is really really important because it's not a down-to-earth message here it's like saying like you know look upwards maybe even um you know do a meditation or a journey to go to what is called the seven sisters which is where the native native american uh, origin law is say says we're from right so <clears throat> feeling like and strongly for Aquarians is whenever you feel like you could do with a bit of advice, um, do it spiritually, right? Ask your guides uh, to connect with you, light a candle, you know, to connect, all that kind of stuff. Um, <clears throat> and obviously, if you if you do that stuff, um, <clears throat> if you can actually journey and you can actually meditate, um, you get there so much faster, right? The outgoing energy that you have is the color mat. This guy, or this, this color mat is actually not the guy, the color mat is actually the pipe, or the flute, I should rather say. What the guides are saying is, connect with your guides this month. Really, really important, right? Ask for divine guidance, right? And then the color mat is, is a flute that is played just to keep you calm. So go with the flow, um, 
don't allow anyone or anything to 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 upset you and remember that at this point in time because you may feel a little bit weaker after coming out of your own sign <coughs> that might be the reason also why the guides are saying as well you know we're still here you are an old soul right um reconnect to us okay okay that was the overall energy for the star sign of aquarius aquarius notorious here we go let's have a look at your emotional core even though <coughs> we sort of already talked about it a little bit with regards to your emotions how you feel especially when it comes to how to deal with um, grief and how to deal with with uh, emotional pain and all that kind of stuff you have the spider and the horse interestingly because you have the spider and the horse this combination is not about you as a sign inviting in new love this month now i only work here don't shoot the messenger if you're already seeing someone the guides are not saying uh, don't continue this but all they're saying is when it comes to your emotional core you or your, your your guides are much more concerned about your healing you have the spider the spider is the creator of the web of life you decide how much time you give to people and situations you decide how much you allow people to invade your space and because you have the horse which is basically saying you know every now and then i need to have that rush of freedom i need to remove myself a little it goes hand in hand where they're saying is you know you will feel at times that things get too much and you're trying to remove yourself and while the horse is not running for good <coughs> all they're saying to you is reflect on how much space you actually give to people and how much time you allow them to be in your energy right and what i'm getting here strongly is <coughs> even though we're not looking at opportunities yet <coughs> people at work um because you know they feel a bit entitled it feels like well i'm paying you so you have to listen to the stuff um you don't right when someone expressed himself or herself to you about a topic right it is pointless 10 minutes later or whatever to go over it again right if they're starting to rent you have every right to say that like you already said your piece right bugger off if that makes sense really really important that you understand this it is your kindness that sometimes doesn't help you because here you are polite politely listening to that crap that keeps coming if that makes sense right so yeah that's something for you aquarians to actually change now finally let's look at the opportunities for the month of march 2022 for the sign of aquarius you are watching thomas's tarot page with myself thomas Janak. please like subscribe and share and if you like my work you can now buy me a coffee on buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas that's buymeacoffee.com forward slash medium thomas okay opportunities we already talked in your emotional core about um people at work feeling entitled right so i know remember the general reading might not resonate with all of you but for whom it or to for whom it ever for whoever it actually does resonate right or with whom you have the red-headed woodpecker and the great horn owl da, 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 can't talk the red-headed woodpecker hemoi and the great horn owl what they're saying to you is you do not have to stay where you're not welcome if you're looking for new opportunities look at them now don't feel trapped because you aren't right the woodpecker is the animal that says to you no matter how difficult life is hey molly or no matter how difficult life is you will manage right so i'm talking to my cat who is um, walking here <clears throat> so don't think you're trapped right uh, be brave and um you know um pursue new opportunities hey sweetie because you have the great horned owl and the owl is saying right you already know what's working and what isn't working for you hi sweetie oh, let me just um, show you world this is molly sorry molly <laughs> right so ultimately where are we with regards to opportunities rather than waiting for opportunities to happen what the guides literally show you <clears throat> here is that you should follow and trust your intuition because you know when you feel this isn't going anywhere you know i've been sitting with this company for quite some time and i'm just not getting anywhere and people aren't changing as a matter of fact it feels to me that some people are actually getting a bit more invasive in um, energetically and um, you just have to realize aquarians 
you're better than this. So don't wait for opportunities to come to you. Be proactive. <clears throat> Okie dokie, guys. That was your March 2022 general reading. You are watching Thomas's Tarot page with myself, Thomas Janak. Thank you all so much. Please like and share. And I see you all next month. Bye-bye.